I was then banned from inanely rambling to my Discord friends about math they don't care about. So, here's another video. This time, I'm explaining simplifying radicals. Get a calculator, or you can waste a bunch of your time figuring out all this junk manually, and I am not helping you with that. Sometimes it's simple. What's the square root of 81? What's 9 times 9? 81. It's 9. There's your square root. Oh, oh, teacher, teacher, there's another number in front of my square. Oh, what shall I do? Okay, little Timmy, stop screaming in class and let me finish from sending you home to your mom via the effects of terminal velocity, a.k.a. I throw you! <clears throat> yes. Square root of 196? 14. Now you do what you always do when you have two numbers squished together, and that's multiply them. Which you'd know if you weren't a disappointment to your sixth grade math teacher! 6 times 14 is 84. Done. But ah, you fool. That was just the perfect squares. Here's the part where you really suffer. <laughs> Square root of 56. A bunch of mumbo jumbo decimal nonsense no one cares about, except for maybe masochistic college students. So here's where you get your calculator. Enter y equals 56 divided by x, second, and graph. You'll get a table with a bunch of factors of 56. Pick two of them, any two, whether you torture yourself with numbers that you have to break down more times than you've broken down mentally throughout your school career, or choose a simple set like 4 and 14 is not my choice. 4 breaks into two twos, and 14 breaks down into 7 and 2. We're looking for a pair of the same number, and since 4's got what we needed, we circle the 2's and underline the 14 since we can't get a pair out of it. Stinky Reject 14 goes under the radical because it's too freakish to go outside and play with the other kids. That being the number 2, which is on the outside. This is a stupid metaphor. There you go. There's your answer. It's 2 radical 14. Sometimes you'll get real whole problems like 6 radical 34, which can't be simplified because 34 breaks into 2 and 17. And ha ha, sucker, you can't get pairs out of those numbers. Cope! But if you do get a number you can break down and get a pair out of, like 3 radical 147, and you get a pair of 7s and an isolated 3, 7 and the 1, 3 initially outside of the radical start beating the hell out of each other. I don't know, I'm too tired to make funny out of this. You multiply the 7 and the 3 and bam, 21 radical 3. You win. That's simplifying radicals.